Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at how you can automate almost any trading view indicator if you can set alerts on it. So before we get started with the video, I just wanna mention that app is still uh, in very early stages, so the user interface will be updated and there will be more features added as time goes on. So without wasting more time, let's get into this video. Okay, so before we can get started, you will need to have to create an account with the Bybit link in the description of this video. Otherwise, the app won't work. So click on the link and create an account and then head over to your profile. And then you want to go to account and security. Okay, so before we can create API keys, you would need to have a Google Authenticator set up. So you just scroll down and look for Google Two-Factor and then enable it here on the right and set it up. So after you've done that, on the top of the page, we're just going to go and click on API Management. Just click on the top right, Create New Key, and then give it any name. And then you want to select to have uh, the type, uh, Contract, Order and Position, and you want to select uh, Sport. So at the moment, we're just going to be using this, and just ignore the wallet ones, because you don't want uh, anyone getting access to your keys, and then also access to your funds. So don't allow the last three. Okay, and then you can leave this uh, empty. On the top right, just click on Submit. Now you want to type in that two-factor authentication key. And you want to click Confirm. Don't share your keys with anyone uh, because this will actually have access to your account. I will be deleting mine after the video. Now what you want to do is you want to go to the app itself. I will leave a link to that in the description below. But it's tradingboard.coral.com. And then you want to create an account here as well. So you can just click, uh, click on sign up, then give it a username. And then uh, you'll need to have to use a legitimate email if you want to be able to reset your password later on if you forget it. Okay, now I can just click on sign up. Okay, just fill in your details you just create an account with and then you can just click on sign in. So you'll notice if you're going to click uh, USDT or profile, it's going to give you this pop-up message and say, please uh, connect your API keys first. So what we're going to be doing uh, now is we're going to go back to Bybit and we're going to get those keys and then we're just going to submit them here. So I'm just going to be copying the first one and then we'll paste it in there and the second one. Okay, and now you'll see there's something called the SEC token. This is a security token which will be connected to your API keys. So again, do not share this token. You can generate one for you at the bottom right here. You can just select anyone. You want to copy that, paste it in here, and then submit. If you want to change your API keys that you just uh, submitted, you can just go to this API keys button. And then you want to paste in your new ones and create a new key. So at the bottom, you can just generate another one and paste that in. You can also see your current key and then also your uh, API key. Okay, so you also see your USDT balance that you have on Bybit. And then there's also ability where you can see your daily, your PL. So let's say you want to check your results for BTC USDT for the day. You just need to search BTC USDT. If there's going to be a spelling error or the symbol doesn't exist, it's just going to refresh the page. Otherwise, you'll see it will update. I don't. Okay, as you can see, I haven't traded yet today, but otherwise, it will show you your your longs PNL and your short PNL. Now we can head over to the USDT on the top, and it will take us to the page where we will be setting up our board. So under the USDT section, you will see this page. So here, yeah, generate syntax, you're going to be able to build uh, basically settings for your board. And I will show you how you can add it to your trading view in a minute. So you also need to go to tradingview.com and create an account there if you don't have one. So let's uh, first do that. Okay, so on my screen, I have now an ETH USDT chart. And what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to load up one of my indicators 
If you don't have an indicator that you can automate, you can also just go to the website. Uh, I will leave a link to that in the description below, Coral.com. Uh, I also have like indicator packages and it is basically built for the board. So I'll be using uh, those ones. If you have your own ones, you can also use the board with them. So it's all up to you. So I'm going to go to indicators and then invite only. Okay, so now what we're going to be doing is we're going to get a syntax for this indicator. So uh, remember, we are on an EFUSDT pair. And what the board is basically going to be doing is, is going to say uh, if there's a sell signal, it's going to enter us in a short position. And if there's a buy signal, in a long. So it's uh, basically going to be doing that. And then we're going to be adding a take profit and stop loss as well in the board. So um, I'm going to show you how to set that up. So now you're just going to be moving between the USDT section and uh, trading view. So let's first go back to the app and then we're going to generate our syntax for EFUSDT. So right here, the first thing you'll need is a token. So you can click on show token and you can copy your token and just paste it in there and you can just hide it again. And then you want to say, okay, the first one we're going to set up is, uh, let's say, sell. So it's a capital S, then sell. Symbol was ETH USDT. It's all capital, so it is case sensitive. And then um, quantity. This is going to be percentage of your account. So uh, I had like a thousand something dollar in there. So let's say I use a thousand dollars. Let's say I have a thousand dollars in my wallet and I use 10 then it's going to be using 10%, which is equal uh, to $100. So uh, the max that I recommend using is 97%, because then if there's slippage on the, the price movement, uh, you will always enter your trades. Okay, so let's just uh, say 97. And then your leverage. So there's an option on Bybit where it's going to be cross or isolated. If your uh, leverage is set on a cross, the first alert will change that to isolated and the leverage you've set and then further on it will actually take the trades. So I'm going to be selecting my leverage at uh, 10, so there's going to be 10x leverage. And now a take profit is also going to be uh, a percentage. So if I type in 1%, then it's going to be uh, basically 10% because it's going to be multiplying with my leverage. So I'm going to be using a 1% stop loss. Uh, sorry, 1%. Let's make it a 1.5 take profit and a 1% stop loss. Then if I click generate, you will see it pops up here uh, underneath generate uh, generated syntax. And you want to copy that with the brackets. If you don't use the brackets with this, it's not going to be uh, working. So I'm just going to copy that and I'm going to go back to my trading view. So now in trading view, you want to click on this, uh, basically this clock and you want to uh, select a create new alert, then select the indicator. And we're going to start off by creating a strong sell alert. And then we're going to be using once per bar so that every time a flag appears, it will actually execute a trade. And then we are going to uh, type the webhook URL. So I will leave the webhook URL in the description below, but it's basically https slash tradingbot.crodle.com and then just add slash webhook. So just basically the app's website slash webhook. Then you want to clear the message out. And you want to paste in that syntax so you can just uh, type this uh, cell order for example so uh, now if i click create if the next uh, cell flag appears it will open a trade with a take profit and stop loss but we still need to do one for the buy alerts so now let's go back to our app okay so if you want to be using the same uh, take profit and stop loss all you need to be doing is changing the sell to a buy. So again, it's uppercase uh, B and then UI for buy. Generate and then you're going to be copying the new syntax here at the bottom. Again, remember the brackets. We go back to our trading view, create another alert, select the indicator. And this time it's going to be a strong buy. Again, once per bar. So now trading view remembers the URL so you can just keep it like this. Uh, let's just say why 
and now delete whatever's in there and paste in the new syntax. So remember, the token you, you have right here is connected to your API keys. So if anyone has this token, they can actually open trades on your account. So don't share your token and if you accidentally sent it somewhere, you can just go back to your profile and uh, create a new one. So I'm just going to click create. And just like that, my board is now set up. So it's going to be uh, waiting for the next buy or sell signal and then it will actually open a trade. Maybe we'll see a signal right here and I'll try to record it for you. Otherwise, in my next video, I'm going to be recording trades and we're going to be setting up different indicators and looking at different strategies. So another thing I want to add is, let's say in your syntax right here, you didn't have a take profit or stop loss. So now you're just basically be entering your trade and uh, is, is either going to be a liquidation or you're going to close it manually. So then you can also have an option where you can set an, a, a close long or short alert on a condition and it will then close with an alert. So let's say for example your indicator you're using has a take profit or stop loss option uh, within it. So then uh, let's say like a flag. Okay, so I just loaded uh, quickly another indicator on here uh, that's, that has like exit flags. So for example, if you want to set an uh, exit on this flag, so you entered right here, but you didn't add a take profit or stop loss, then you can actually add a exit long syntax on this long X. So on the indicator, you're just going to select the, the indicator of the exit. You see there's an exit long flag. Then you would just have like once per bar again with the URL but instead of opening a trade this time uh, you want to go and use a close long so all you need to do is add your your token in here and the symbol you're trying to close and then this alert will actually close whatever symbol that is so that's just the way you can exit with uh, indicator based conditions so i'm also going to show you now how you can uh, basically automate charts without using any indicators Okay, so what I meant by not using indicators to actually use the board is uh, let's say you trade with technical analysis such as trend lines or Fibonacci or uh, just pennants or anything like that. You can actually set alerts on that trend line to take action when something happens. So I'm going to be using just a trend line for example and we can say okay if this trend line uh, right here breaks you want to enter short and then you want to have let's say a stop loss right here and you want to have a take profit uh, right here so I'm going to show you now how you can set this up um, so if I right click on this and I can say add an alert you can have the, basically the logic if if uh, if the price crosses the trend line so I'm just going to change crossing to crossing down so I know he's going to cross downwards and I'll just you know open up and uh, up and down every time so I'm gonna have this at only once otherwise the indicator is going to be basically firing every time price moves through it and I only want to do this once you're gonna use the same URL so now I want to go and get a short uh, syntax so uh, at, to at the top we can just change this to sell and you want to be removing your uh, take profit and stop loss but keep in mind, doing this uh, will give you another syntax. But if you don't want to use a take profit and stop loss, you can't add the words or the take profit and stop loss in there at all. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to copy this uh, syntax from after the leverage and I'm going to leave that comma out. And then I'll just close the bracket myself when I paste it in TradingView. So I'm going to clear this out. And you see there's now a closing bracket that's needed so I'm just going to type one in and now it's a valid syntax otherwise it won't open. So I'm just going to uh, click create and now we have that uh, set up so right there. So now also we want to do is a, a stop loss so I'm just going to add an alert and we're going to say again uh, you can say crossing any times this doesn't really matter because it's also going to be only once. So I'm just going to leave it like that only once and now I want to get uh, exit uh, short. So I'm going to go back to my app and right here we're going to say uh, close short. I'm going to copy that and we're going to go back to our trading view. We're going to paste this in here but now we still need to add our uh, token. So you just you remember to keep the brackets there as well and the quotations. So I'm going to be uh, pasting my token in between there. 
So at top, we're just gonna say copy and now paste it in there. And the symbol is EFUSDT. Remember to, uh, uh, it's case sensitive, so you need to have uppercase uh, EFUSDT. So now it's actually going to be closing the short if it entered. If it didn't enter, there's nothing to be uh, closing basically, so nothing will happen. And again, we want to take profit right here. So we can just copy the same syntax over to that one. So I'm just gonna uh, go ahead and copy this. And we just right click on this trend line. And you can just uh, basically, you can add take profit right there so you know which one is going to be where. And I'm gonna say create. Okay, so now basically it has the logic to say if this trend line breaks downwards, it's gonna enter us in a sell position with a stop loss right there and a take profit right there. And the, the great part about this is if I move my trend line, it's going to move my, basically my take profit as well because uh, that's in the alert is the trend line. So wherever this trend line is going to be at is going to enter. The same for your entry if you haven't entered yet. If I move this line down, I'm basically moving my entry. So you can use this for any drawing tools or anything you can set an alert on and any other trading view indicator. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will leave the links to everything down in the description below. So uh, also make sure to join my Discord server and thank you guys. I'll see you in the next video.